All right, so this is the good part of the video right here. What we're gonna do is we're going to, this is the reassembly of the laptop with the new frame. This is the new frame right here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the screen in position. All right, so you put the screen in position like this and you fish the wires, the LCD wire and the Wi-Fi LAN cables. You fish that underneath. Of course, they have to be set into these grooves, which I'm gonna do later. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same bolts that you took out, that I took out from the screen and I'm going to put them back in. I'm not going to be showing much of the reassembly, I'm just going to be explaining step by step. So right now I'm going to be putting the bolts back in to the brackets right here in the new frame. Alright, so going forward I'm going to be using my case of PC screws here. Remember I said the size is M2 times 5L. In my case I was missing one bolt to screw in the screen, so I'm going to try this out right here in this corner. If you guys want to continue watching this uh, reassembly, you can. But this is pretty much, you know, just going in reverse of what I did before. So I'm going to grab this motherboard. I'm going to put it into position like this. Next, we're going to grab the fans. Make sure you have the right fans to go on the correct side. So in my case, it's supposed to look like... Yeah. It's supposed to look like this. So one fan goes right here and there was no screws holding in the fans I'm pretty sure the screws that hold in the fans are on the other the underside of the PC also this will be a great time to also test out the screen <laughs> that's what we're doing this for this will be a great time to test out the screen look at that hinges are working perfectly fine this thing is opening and closing as it should I'm going to go get my headphone motherboard my headphone, my I.O. board, that's what they call this. This is the I.O. board. We're going to put this in position. Electrical tape, electrical tape. That never goes wrong. So next, I'm going to take my bass speaker, and I'm also going to put that into position. So I'm pretty sure this goes right here, just like that. Drop the motherboard back in place just like that then I'm gonna route the wires how it was routed before now we're gonna plug the subwoofer they're calling it a subwoofer I call it a bass speaker <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna plug the subwoofer in keep the wire off to the side like that this wire right here is our power cable I'm just gonna go ahead and route this from now so I'm going to take the power cable, I'm going to fish it through, slide right in just like that, slides into position, that's perfect, make sure the wire is fed through the bottom, just like that, so these two wires meet together, then put the fan back in position here. And we're going to get our the small board that we removed from before. It looks like this. Just like that. That's a little click right there. When it's in position, we're going to take this and pretty sure there's nothing stopping us from plugging this in from now. Alright, so now would be a good time to actually compare the two touch pads that you have here. This right here is my old one. And this right here is the new one. This is the new touchpad right here. And see if there is anything missing because I just caught this here. So, on the new touchpad, there is a connector right here. That connector, let me get a good look on the camera. That connector is actually for the power button. The power button cable also needs to be removed. That connector. So what we're going to do... I'm gonna move the new touchpad off to the side. And the only way I see this happening is we remove the black tape right here. Just gonna peel this off a little bit. Just like that. 
and I'm pretty sure this board just pops right off and so does the tape be very careful with this just like that and now this is garbage <laughs> so there that goes but now we have to repeat the same step right here on the new touchpad so I'm gonna position this the same way how I saw it all right and you know it is in position once you click the button and you actually hear it clicking you hear that clicking that's how you know it's actually in position trust me I didn't hear that click before so that alone makes me happy <laughs> alright so as long as the cable is back where it's supposed to be you're on the right track now would also be a great time to grab your touchpad it's the touchpad right here and we're gonna pretty much snap this back into position and now it's back in position it's sitting flush and that's exactly what we want that is perfect all right so next up we're gonna make sure that everything here on the motherboard is actually in position all right so this should be your end result right here you have one connector here for the touchpad you have one connector for the power cable that's exactly what you got going on right here power button and touchpad I mean power button touchpad those are the two cables that you should have visible right now and I'm going to take the touchpad and I'm going to snap this back into position just like this. God, this thing almost, this, li <laughs> this thing literally feels brand new now. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. It's mind blowing to me. And we're going to take the two connectors, the power button connector, and we're going to put it in position. If I'm not mistaken, we have a bunch of bolts right here that says M2 times 5. There's two bolts right here that says M2 times 5, so I'm not going to reuse the same bolts as before. I'm going to get my case of M2 times 5 bolts, and I'm going to reinsert it in that position. It's time for the keyboard. So, as you can see, there is two connectors on the bottom of the keyboard. One is for the actual power for the keyboard, and this is for the backlight. So we're going to fold them in position and reconnect them as they should and with my flathead screwdriver I'm just gonna guide the tabs into place you can pretty much press it down with your finger but I don't want to do that it's easier with the flathead we're going to flip this over now and at this point pretty sure you guys can see what the rest is looking like the same screw for the LAN chip the same screw for the hard drive here's the hard drive here the same screws for the battery they're all M2 times 5 the LAN chip actually uses this silver bolt right here that came with it so I'm gonna reuse that and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna snap in the RAM chip the RAM chip was right here goes in like so clicks in and there we go so I'm not pretty much to keep this video shorter I'm just going to put everything back into position but I'm basically this is the home stretch right here we have the hard drive right there the battery right there and and we have the Wi-Fi chip that's also sitting right there so other than that um we have these wires that we have to pretty much route through this is for the 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 digitizer the screen this is for the Wi-Fi chip and this right here is for the power brick the power plug so we're gonna route these back into the grooves and plug them back into the keyboard so I'm pretty much just going to skip to the next clip on what it should look like when it's done but remember they're all M2 times 5 bolts and the only bolt that's different is the bolt for the chip. Reuse that same bolt. So let me get to that. Alright, so this is what it looks like when everything is basically wired back into position. Let me give you guys a good look here. The battery cable is plugged in and there are three bolts holding the battery in. Actually, no, I'm sorry. There are five bolts 
holding the battery in one two three four five they're all the same size bolt same for the hard drive the hard drive is in it's plugged in right here there are four screws right here here's the LAN chip which I did not plug in yet but I'm gonna plug in right now I just wanted to show you guys make sure that remember white goes on top for me black goes on the bottom make sure you know where your wires go and of course here's the RAM chip and all of the wires if you take a look around all of the wires are routed exactly how they were from the beginning so here's the LCD cable right here and we have the power brick cable and the Wi-Fi chip cable all in position so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to connect I'm gonna reconnect the Wi-Fi chip and remember that there are two bolts that go right here I, I didn't put that in the video either there are two bolts that go right here that it's also M2 times 5L so reinsert the two bolts that go right here and reconnect the Wi-Fi chip and back cover goes on and we're gonna see if it works and just like that I have literally nothing else to prove right here the what I want to point out is how smooth this screen is opening and closing I don't have to you know I don't have any problems with the hinges everything is oh my god it's like it's like when I first got it pretty much it's, it's crazy touchpad is in position keyboard backlight is on everything is in position right now and that's a wrap guys so I want you guys I want to thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video stay tuned for my next video my next video is going to be about oh I love that sound. My next video is going to be about my car. <laughs> I have a bunch of updates that I need to tell you guys about what I've done with my car. So stay tuned for my next vi YouTube video. You guys already know the YouTube videos are coming because I successfully fixed this right here. So the content is going to be blowing up on this channel. Make sure to subscribe and um, definitely I would turn post notifications on. You won't regret it because it's it's going to be crazy. Definitely from here on out into 2021, it's going to be crazy with the content. And I got a lot of catching up to do. Um, trust me, like I, 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 I've been thinking about Xbox. I've been thinking about, you know, like my car life and everything. And, and just, you know, just a lot of tech stuff. So definitely stay tuned for the videos coming up. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.